One of the favorite soap opera tricks in history has got to be the classic baby switcheroo. You never see it coming, but when it hits, it hits hard. So today, we're taking a look at the wildest baby swaps in daytime TV history. So, buckle up and stick around to witness all the drama unfold. Hey everyone, welcome to Trend Street. In the world of soap operas, baby switching is practically a rite of passage. It's like a classic move they whip out whenever they need to spice things up. You've got your dramatic reveals, your shocking twists, and a whole lot of emotional roller coasters for the characters and viewers alike. But here's the thing, it's not just a one-time deal. Nope, baby swapping is like the gift that keeps on giving in Soapland. Writers sprinkle it in whenever they need to shake up the storyline and keep us hooked. And let's be real, these baby switcheroos aren't just about the babies. They're about love, betrayal, and all those messy family dynamics that make for must-watch TV. It's like a never-ending saga of secrets and scandals, and we can't get enough of it. So, whether it's a mom realizing she's been raising someone else's kid or a dad discovering he's been kept in the dark, you can bet it's gonna be a wild ride. And that's why we're taking a trip down memory lane of baby swaps and all your fave soaps. Number 1. On Days of Our Lives, Nicole Walker believes her baby boy has tragically passed away. Little does she know, her biological son is being raised by Eric Brady, who is unaware of the truth. Meanwhile, Sloane, who knows the baby's true parentage, is using the child to keep Eric close. Ironically, Nicole had pulled a similar stunt with Sydney, passing her off as her own child with EJ. Well, that's just the tip of the iceberg because just a few years ago, Xander also did a baby swap between Sarah's dead child and Brady and Kristen's newborn, resulting in the super brat Rachel. Fortunately, Sarah managed to return Rachel to her rightful parents, avoiding a potential disaster. Number 2. Now, this is a fresh one and honestly no one would have guessed it in a million years. Victoria Newman just found out her and Cole's supposedly dead daughter, Eve Nicole, was actually not her baby. Turns out, her real daughter, Claire, got kidnapped by her own aunt, Jordan, who raised her to despise the Newmans. But here's the kicker, this whole baby switcheroo thing isn't new to Genoa City. Back in the day, Lauren went through something similar over 30 years ago. Sheila, the ultimate schemer, snatched Lauren's baby, Scotty, and passed him off as her own with Lauren's ex, Scott. Meanwhile, poor Lauren raised a baby named Dylan, who tragically didn't make it past his first birthday after suffering from meningitis. Number 3. This one was a crossover baby switch between All My Children and One Life to Live that we all love. First up, Bianca's daughter Miranda got tangled up with Babe as Bess, while Babe's son AJ ended up in Landview as Kelly's sweet baby, Ace. Then, over on General Hospital, things got even crazier. Sam believed her son Jason Daniel Morgan was gone, but turns out, he was living it up in Landview as T's little one, Victor. Cue the shock when Victor got diagnosed with thalassemia, a condition that hinted at his true Cassidine roots. And hey, what's the deal with Danny? Does he still have it, or was it one of those temporary soap opera conditions? But let's not forget, baby switches are practically a tradition on General Hospital. Laura was also the victim of baby swap. She grew up thinking she was Laura vining for about 12 years. Then her mom, Leslie, discovered the truth, her supposedly stillborn baby was alive and living with another family. Leslie demanded her daughter back, leading to a whole lot of drama. Laura was torn but eventually decided to go back to Leslie. Along the way, she joined a cult, as you do in soap operas. And get this, her former sister Amy came along for the ride, and basically became part of Laura's new family with Leslie and Rick. And after all that, the original Vinings were never really mentioned again. Number 4. Teenage Gwen found herself pregnant and decided to give her baby up for adoption to Rosanna and Craig. Meanwhile, Jennifer was also expecting a child with Craig, but she was dead set on keeping him away from their baby. When Gwen gave birth to a sick baby named Billy and Jennifer had a healthy one named Johnny, Craig decided to pull a sneaky switcheroo. Number 5. Lastly, on B&B one of the crazy baby swaps has to be of baby Beth Spencer. Dr. Reese Buckingham shook things up big time with a shady deal that blew everyone's mind. When Hope gave birth alone on Catalina Island, Dr. Buckingham saw an opportunity. He switched her healthy daughter with a baby from another woman who had sadly passed away. This led to Hope and Liam's daughter being sold to Taylor and Steffi, giving little Kelly a sister. As the truth slowly unraveled about Reese's deceit, Thomas took advantage of the situation to keep Hope away from her daughter, fearing she'd get back together with Liam. But thanks to Thomas's son, Douglas, who outed the scam, Liam learned the truth. He then revealed everything to Hope, exposing Thomas's manipulations. With Liam and Hope back together, they were finally reunited with their daughter, Beth, forming a happy family once again. This storyline is the very reason that got B&B a Daytime Emmy Award that year too. That's all for today. 
Let us know which baby swap shocked you the most in the comments below. Thank you for checking this video out. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on if you want to hear from us and comment down below if you've subscribed and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can.